Hey, long time. A year has passed since my very first One You Be You Life episode. It was more or less an introduction to me um, taking on this journey. And while I didn't expect me to stop because my intention was to do a daily life episode to let you know how I've been challenged and how I was encouraged that day and to share every single day. Well, I want to encourage you in a way today I'm not necessarily returning. I just thought today is February 3rd. I did my first recording for One You Be You on this day a year ago. And so I just wanted to let you know that um, while I hope to come back, I have been praying for you. And um, I'm in a season right now that is really, really hard. And I'm um, doing my best to lean into God hard, hard, hard. Um, because I know that he will sustain me through this and um, wanted to encourage you because in this time I have developed a lot of wonderful relationships and old ones too have been really pouring into me too. While I, I feel like it's a really hard time mostly because I'm being poured into and I'm not used to being poured into like this, um, feeling the need to be, I'm usually the comforter, not the comforted. And um, while I know the the True Comforter, capital C, has been with me all along, and my my friends and my family have been with me this entire journey, and I'm so grateful. Um, so be encouraged, even in your hardest seasons, and open up to people because community makes a difference. It really, truly does. And so, since I'm not sure when the next time it is that I'll be with you, um, I want you to remember that you are prayed for, you are loved. And there's only one you. In fact, today at church, I was um, encouraged that way today. We talked about comparison, and we've talked a lot about comparison too, right? Like there's only one you. If you try to be somebody else, you're not giving your best to people who, who want to know you. Um, you were given a race to run, your own race, and you can only run your race. And as long as you finish, and you finish strong, and you finish well, it doesn't matter who you be there, right? Or who beat you? Because that's not what it's about. It's about doing your best. And um, it's the lesson we tell our kids all the time, isn't it? You never give up and you always do your best and you have an attitude of gratitude. Well, I hope that you do. I hope that you do because you have a life that's worth sharing. There's only one you, right? I keep saying be you and um, be yourself to the fullest possible um, way and um, we'll all be so much better for it. Um, I have a, a story in my heart to share and I'm excited about it. Um, not sure how it's gonna come about. Not sure, um, did I say that like really Midwesterner? A boat? I, t I think I totally did. A little Fargo even. Um, getting real confused being in the South, like the melting pot. Um, anyway. I've missed you. I've missed you all so much and um, just want to encourage you as this last year has gone by. It's been quite a year, quite a season, lots of learning, lots of growing, lots of changing and adapting and um, I've been encouraged in more ways than I can tell you and hopefully you have too and that you don't give up this journey, this journey called life because there's just one life to live and your life is special you are special and so hopefully you're encouraged by that today don't be running other people's race run your own run your own and you'll finish well i love you guys so so much have a good one until further notice i'll be praying for you take care